Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to show you um, something that is absolutely wonderful with some cheese and a bit of salad, uh, or maybe some ham or whatever, a chunky vegetable pickle that most people know as Branston pickle. <laughs> I had a request for this from Retro Geet and also my old mate Brenda Rigdon um, said she likes Branson, so yeah. And a shout out for Oliver Nixon who asked for one, so there you go. Right, Plowman's Pickle, dead easy, let's do it. Okay, ingredients for the pickle, lots and lots of them. I've got um, one of these, it's either a turnip or a swede or a rutabaga, uh, a couple of medium onions, three carrots, two celery sticks, a large courgette, two small tart apples, or one bigger one, uh, three cloves of garlic, 150 grams of brown sugar, uh, actually dark, that's demerara, dark brown sugar would probably be better, about 100 grams of dates, 180 mils of malt vinegar, this stuff. And also half a teaspoon each of ground cloves, ground nutmeg, and chili flakes, and one teaspoon of sweet paprika. So it's actually a really easy thing to make, but we've got to prep all of these veggie things, which involves, you know, cutting, peeling where appropriate, and dicing into about a centimeter cubes, a bit under a half an inch. So Branston pickle, which we're not actually trying to copy in any way, shape or form, was first, um, made in 1920 in the village of Branston near Burton-on-Trent in Staffordshire. Isn't that interesting? For the company Cross and Blackwell. So in a few years time it's going to be there's the centenary of this stuff and well that'll be fun. A whole year of jubilation and pickle. Right, I've done half of it. This is hard work. <laughs> and as you chop all the bits, throw them in a pan. Right, so that's all of the uh, big horrible thing in. <laughs> and let's do the onions. And when I've got the carrots and the onions done in the pan, I'm gonna top it up with water and the vinegar and set it off cooking, because those will take longer than the other things to cook. Okay, so I've got my carrots, my turnip, and my onions and the vinegar also. So now I'm gonna bring this to the boil. I'm going to need enough water to cover it. That's not enough. <laughs> that was a monster turnip I put in there, so I'll put some more vinegar in and some more water. And also I can add the spices and the sugar. Okay, give those a bit of a stir. And I've got my celery. Nicely chopped up, put that in. And I'll just mince in the garlic. Almost the last couple of things, I've got my courgette. Well, I hope this is all gonna fit in the pan. <laughs> and my chunks of apple. So the courgette and the apple will sort of just disappear into mush, but they'll leave flavor behind. Well, the courgette won't, because courgettes don't taste of anything in my experience. Sorry, for my American fans, courgettes, zucchini. And finally, the dates. Dates. Datiles. Um, and just uh, stir it all together. It's on low heat and I'm gonna put a lid on that and let it simmer for about half an hour, but I'll probably check it and stir it now and again, just to make sure it doesn't stick. And look at this, monster pile of peelings for the compost, yes. Right, the pickle is uh, chugging away. I've had the lid off for a time to let some of the water evaporate, but um, this has probably got enough liquid in and I don't want to reduce it too much. The blobs of stuff in it are still too distinct. We need a lot more mushiness going on. And hopefully from somewhere, some dark brownness, because <laughs> this is very, it's very light coloured compared to what it's supposed to be. Um, so I'll just um, let that go for however long it takes. Now I've got some jars, 
which I will use to put the pickle in when it's done but they need to be sterilized so I've got a big pan of water coming to the boil and you need to put these in for at least 10 minutes and the lids righty ho uh, making some progress now I've been boiling this a little bit more rapidly and I've added a tablespoon of black treacle molasses uh, just to darken the colour really so that's looking a bit more like it I think if I'd used dark muscovado sugar instead of what did I use demerara it would have been darker but anyway let's have a taste yeah sweet and sour um, just like it's meant to be so all I'm doing now I'm just boiling it down till it gets to the right kind of thick and gloopy consistency okay I reckon that'll do so I'll uh, so I'll just spoon it into the sterilized jars and then when they've cooled down a bit put the lid on and stick them in the fridge I wouldn't bother trying to use it for about a week really it's the kind of thing that improves flavour over time and uh, you know because there's so much vinegar and sugar in this it is a pickle it is a preserve so it'll last a long time in the fridge okay so uh, a few days have passed and um, here's my pickle uh, you might find it looks a bit dry on the top but um, just give it a shake or turn it upside down just to get the liquid flowing anyway Tasty, tasty. Bit of cheese. Dollop a pickle. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. That's delicious, actually. Really, a mm. little bit sweet, a little bit sour, and really, really tasty. So there you go. Plowman's, not Branston, pickle. Really tasty, really easy. You might as well do it and that's that i hope you enjoyed it now please do the usual likes shares comments subscriptions donations patronage all that good stuff or just some of it <laughs> and thank you for watching and see you next time